O Lord, open our lips and we will declare your praise. This morning we read Acts chapter 7. Stephen's been arrested and is now giving his defence before the Sanhedrin. And what Stephen does is he goes through key events in the history of Israel, the calling of Abraham, the journey of Joseph and the patriarchs into Egypt, the ministry of Moses calling them out of Egypt, and the establishment of the temple. And what he's saying is the next stage, the next episode in God's story uh, with the people of Israel is the sending of the Holy One, the Messiah, the Lord Jesus. And he points out that many times in the history of Israel, the people of Israel had rejected the one God had sent and rejected his message or departed from it. And he said, you've also done this with the Holy One. You have betrayed and murdered him. Um, even though you received the law that was given through the angels, you have not obeyed it. And so here it brings a condemnation to them, really re um, referring to the statement of Jesus. Um, if you study the law, you would believe in me because the law points to me. And here's what Stephen is saying too. And at the end of his testimony, they are angry with him and they're about to pronounce judgment when he sees a vision. He sees Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And at this, they drag him out of the city and stone him to death. Um, and he prays, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit, and then falls on his knees and cries out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Um, a imitation, really, of the words of Jesus on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And in our lives, too, we seek to uh, emulate Jesus in every area of our life. The scriptures point to Jesus. These people who studied them had no excuse for rejecting him. And Stephen pointed this out boldly. Let's make sure that we also study the scriptures, but see Jesus in them and are obedient to them. Let's be bold in our testimony as Stephen was, whatever the cost. And let's be faithful to him in all things. Lord, we pray that you will find us faithful in serving you and faithful in giving testimony to your goodness in our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.